What's going on guys? I'm back today to do a follow-up to a SHOT Show interaction I had with some folks down at Kalashnikov USA. If you see me on Instagram, you'll see a video I posted back in January when I was at SHOT Show trying to get an interview with someone from KUSA about the quality issues that people were finding going on with the KP9s, out of battery, all of these things going on, just bad QC kind of across the board with some different things. The main thing being the out of battery discharge. So we're here today to do a follow up. I got some updates. Let's talk about it. Let's shoot it. See what happens. All right, guys, here it is back in all of its glory. The KP9, I would say the Russian MP5, the Russian Bear, the Zenico out. Russian Vityez KP9 edition. Here we are back. Finally feeling safe. Finally feeling good enough to run. All right, guys. So these out of battery discharges were plaguing KP9. There was quality issues abound with these things. And I needed to test mine because I got a lot of money sunken into this thing. This is straight up Russian. Mostly everything is supposed to be a, a, essentially a Vityez clone. Put a lot of Russian stuff on here straight from the motherland. So I did not need this SBR to have an out of battery discharge and blow up the receiver or break something because then I would be pissed having sunken all this money into something I thought was a quality product and it turned out to be not a quality product. And through no fault of my own, something that brings a catastrophic failure to my firearm that leaves me, whew, live it so long story short went to shot show to try to talk to someone from kp9 about what was going on didn't have to be anything crazy i wasn't there to bash him i was there to try to get some answers for some folks who've been talking about it online for some time now i didn't get that i got the run around nobody wanted to talk it was a bunch of shit. so i got pissed posted the video short time later the new person that's running the company not sure the exact title, but his name is Cody. If you follow KP USA, or I'm sorry, Kalashnikov USA, you've seen him post videos of himself talking about he's gonna change, he's revamping, changes are coming, and he wants the company to succeed and have all quality issues fixed, which was great. So what happened was he reached out to me directly on Instagram and said, let me call you. Now, mind you, this is before I knew who this guy was and you know what he was planning on doing. He called me and he wanted to run down to ask me what happened. So what I really appreciated was him taking the time to contact me. Now, mind you, yes, I do have a slight bit of a following on social media. So in some ways, it's a good move on them to contact people who has more of a voice, more of a platform to spread information, right? And I told Cody, I said, listen, I don't want, and I, I talked to the other guys who run the Unbanned by Kalashnikov pages. Nobody wants Kalashnikov USA to fail. We just want the stuff fixed. I have a very expensive rifle here that I want to know is reliable and is not going to just blow up on me. Understands the concerns. So fast forward a little later, I, I tell him, I'm like, look, I don't really feel comfortable right now doing anything with this. I'm not shooting it. And you know, I, obviously I want it fixed, but because I posted these videos, I don't want my stuff to get sent back and then they can attach it to me and say, well, you know, essentially F this guy, we're not fixing it or we're going to fix it wrong, whatever, for some bad blood or whatever is going on in the building. He assured me that wasn't going to be the case. He said, give it to the attention to him. Everybody knows this is a top priority, getting any of these fixed, but to make, give you peace of mind, I'm going to make sure that I handle this directly so you don't have to worry about anything. Great. Fast forward again a few weeks, they release their updated firing pin solution that is supposed to fix out of battery issues. What I did was I said, okay, look, I'm gonna send this thing back. I sent in my bolt, the whole bolt had to go back. They sent it back to me, it was a quick turnaround time. And it wasn't just me, I heard from other folks posting on the Unbanned by Clash Call USA that they were getting, you know, a week turnaround, like a very quick turnaround time. So great, mine was turned around just as fast. So to figure out if yours has a problem, the easiest way I felt for me and the safest way was Surely not trying to make it fire out of battery. Totally unsafe, I wasn't trying to blow up my gun. So what I did was you take a snap cap 
and put a little piece of scotch tape, I put a piece of scotch tape over the back, put it in your chamber, pull your bolt back, add a battery, drop the hammer, and see if that firing pin leaves an indentation or breaks the tape. Because anything, anything out of battery, and that firing pin is released and touches this tape at all, out of battery, is a no-go. Unsafe, it's unacceptable. So if you have this issue, Contact them and have your bolts sent back for the firing pin enhancement, replacement, whatever it is they're doing. But from what I understand, the firing pin is beefed up. It's slightly modified to not fire out of battery. So let me show you now, whereas before I would leave an indentation or break the tape on this, the snap cap. Now I got a fresh piece of tape, put it in, and I'll quickly show you that it does not do that anymore. See that in the chamber. I'm going to pull this back out of battery so slightly. Drop the hammer. Now before that would leave an indentation on the round. Here you can see now, there is nothing there. It is clean, completely safe to fire. So thank God, now let's get to shooting. And I wanna thank new leadership at KUSA, Cody. Thank you, sir, if you're watching this video for doing the Lord's work and helping get a, a good company in my mind back on board and back to where they should be making sure everything they put out is quality so appreciate you all right guys so this was just a quick update on what's going on don't forget steve mp5 on the instagrams and man does this thing run smooth and fast all right, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.